Hi guys, my name is Bella. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to make cross dressing easy or how to cross dress on a budget when you are just starting out. All right. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's get started. I suppose when you are just starting out that you don't have any clothes at home to cross dress into. And if you are a male, then I suppose it's going to be quite embarrassing for you to go out there in a shop and to purchase some clothes and ask the sales assistant, like, do you have some bras for me? Yeah, I'm like a D, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really recommend to do your first cross-dressing online shopping. Um, shopping online. <laughs> and um, an app that I really recommend is Sheen where um, there's a lot of designs in a lot of sizes for quite cheap. I don't recommend investing heavy when you're just starting out. Eventually, yes, the more expensive you buy, the better it kind of makes you feel, you know, especially with female lingerie. They have this, they have this kind of like a kind of doing that, okay? Um, they, uh, the expensive lingerie really does feel, you know, a lot softer and better on the skin than just the cheap ones, okay? Um, from Sheen, for example but it doesn't mean that there is no nice pieces to be found on sheen um i actually have found a lot of very interesting and comfortable pieces on there that are like you know like for 10 to 20 dollars so i think it's like a great price when you're just starting out and um, i really recommend for your first purchase to just um think about like what's going to make me feel the sexiest or what what do i want to achieve from cross-dressing okay like what, why are you cross-dressing like kind of figure that out first are you cross-dressing for attention are you cross-dressing for to feel sexy or just to do it at home just to try it out when that's the case um i would just when you just want to do it for yourself and want to feel sexy then i would recommend going for some lingerie pieces maybe like one or two pieces for the start some stockings maybe some heels um if you're looking for something if you're um more like an outdoors type of cross dresser. You want to cross dress out there on the street, not not really in the bedroom. It doesn't really um um excite you. Like you just want to try it out to go out with it. Then I recommend going for dresses. Um, I don't recommend starting with things like skirts or blouses because they are quite of um. It's kind of like not easy to find a perfect fit. Um. At the start, I recommend going with a dress that's kind of like bigger, you know, so that you understand what your size is. And I suppose if you have a more like manly body, um, it's not going to fit the same way as it shows in the picture. So um, I really recommend just first figuring out your size, which might be sometimes different than you think it is because, you know, female clothes are sized a bit differently. So I really recommend going just with some... Um, simple dresses at first to figure out how you're gonna feel in that and then gradually when you find out your size you can go um for tighter clothes for tighter dresses um tight uh, yoga pants and things like that i recommend oh yeah actually yoga pants is something that i really recommend for beginner uh, cross dressers that are public cross dressers right yoga pants um, as i said the long dresses is perfect a lot of cross dressers i know um like to wear long dresses outside long dresses that are not like super feminine so like not like pink but you know some like a black like a black um dress or blue you know it's very um common in cross dressers that go out um in public but um yeah if you um if you like to wear something tighter, I would definitely go for jeans and also for yoga pants. And for the top, I would like get get like a nice blouse. Um, one thing I have to mention though is that a lot of people want to wear the tight things, but you know they don't feel really comfortable in tight clothing um, over the time. So that's why I really recommend going with baggy first. Because the tight thing, you know, especially if you have a male body, it can be really uncomfortable for you. Like for example, the sleeves or the, the thighs, um, it cannot, you, you cannot, um, it doesn't have to make it feel the way you are supposed, you're supposing it to make you feel, okay? Especially if you want to go out with it. However, when it's just for you um, inside, 
um, then yes, definitely go for it. I recommend going with lingerie at first, heels. Definitely every crossdresser I think should try to wear heels, bras with padding because they feel like really good, you know, they kind of like lift up your boobs. So you kind of like get to get a feeling of having boobs. And then some nice thongs, um, bikinis and similar items. And then you're gonna figure out what makes you feel the sexiest, what kind of designs, what kind of materials, because as you know, um, female clothes comes in a lot of designs, a lot of materials. And even for me, I had to find out my own favorite ones, my own favorite materials and shapes and everything. It has been a ride <laughs> and I'm still not like um, at the end of the ride. I'm still kind of trying to figure out which styles fit me the most, where I feel the most comfortable. And that's gonna be the case for you probably too when you are just starting out to be a crossdresser because you know, that's the thing with male clothes, they usually fit all, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> that's why um, I was talking about in my other crossdressing video that I prefer to buy men, men's um, tops, men's t-shirts to sleep in because they always fit, okay? But females t-shirts, they, they don't always fit. Sometimes they are too tight, sometimes their shoulders are a little bit different, sometimes it's like, you know, the sleeves are weird. So um, you have to know about this when you're just starting your cross-dressing journey that not every style is going to fit you. Not every style that looks pretty on the, uh, on the picture is going to actually look pretty on you too. That doesn't happen with male clothes that often, but with female clothes, yes, it does. So um, I really recommend just, as I mentioned, go with the more baggy things and then gradually find out your own styles and figure out what you like. Maybe eventually you're gonna figure out that it's just the lingerie that makes you happy. It's just the heels that make you feel sexy. You don't need all these jeans and yoga pants and blouses and whatever. Okay guys, I hope this video helped you to understand how to cross-dress, how to start cross-dressing, how to go around your first purchase and um, what this uh, cross-dressing journey actually involves. And I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!